Dr. Radhakrishnan Pillai is someone who's written more than 15 books on the topic of Chanakya. Who was Chanakya? He's considered one of the all-time greatest brains that this country has ever produced. The knowledge that he spread, his teachings have actually lived on years after he passed away. That's the greatness of that man. So imagine all that knowledge of Chanakya being boiled down to one book called the Chanakya Niti. And then imagine all the knowledge of that one book being boiled down to a basic podcast. That's what this episode of the Renvi Show is. This is your personal mentorship session from Dr. Radhakrishnan Pillai. By the end of it, you're going to elevate your consciousness, you're going to elevate your mind, you're going to elevate your thought process because you're going to get access to one of the nation's best minds, both in the form of Chanakya and Chanakya reincarnated according to me, Dr. Radhakrishnan Pillai. Enjoy the episode. Welcome to another very value-adding episode of the Ranvi Show. They say that the smartest individual in the history of India was this person called Chanakya. And I say that one of the smartest men in India is this person called Dr. Radhakrishnan Pillai, sir, uh, who is also the modern-day expert on Chanakya. And many people consider you Chanakya Reborn. <laughs> uh, also, that was the title of a video we did together. Yeah. Uh, so the title of this episode of the Ranvi Show is again related to Chanakya is the top five learnings from the Chanakya Niti. Yeah. So uh, before we get into the actual learnings which will help people benefit, you know modern day hustlers benefit, I want to ask you a brief history on Chanakya and the Chanakya Niti. So first of all thanks a lot for bringing me back into this particular show <laughs> because I've enjoyed your show there's so much that uh, is so fulfilling for me when I'm this, in this particular studio. And I'm glad you're speaking on the topic, which is my life commitment to that is yeah. Chanakya and his Chanakya Niti. Yes. Uh, coming back, uh, everybody knows about Chanakya. You know, there are so much uh, we can learn from Chanakya. So I like to talk about two basic things. One is the story part of Chanakya and the second is the strategy part of Chanakya. So I think uh, Chanakya lived in 3rd century BC. He was a kingmaker of Chandragupta Maurya. He defeated Alexander, uh, blah, 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 blah. So the, everything is quite known and there are so much content available on YouTube, etc. So you can watch it. But what I'm going to talk about the second part of it, which is his work being documented. So it is said that he wrote two books. One is called the Kautilya's Arthashastra and the second one is called Chanakya Niti. The difference between these two is Kautilya Arthashastra has got 6,000 sutras or formulas of how to run a kingdom. So I would say it's almost like a Raja Vidya meant for the leaders. Does it also apply to business? It, it does. In fact, uh, I've written quite a few books on application of Arthashastra into the real life, including business. Hmm. The second uh, book is called Chanakya Niti and uh, it's a book which consists around 350 odd sutras. So 350 odd versus 6000, that's the difference. Hmm. So scholars say that uh, Arthashastra was written for the kings, the classes, while Chanakya Niti was written for the masses. And it is very practical in nature. It talks about how a person should live his daily life, you know, what he should do. And it talks about a lot of aspects of human being, right? From being a good student to actually being a good householder, you know, how do you earn money ethically? It talks about also the spiritual side of it. It also talks about parenting. And very practical tips on, you know, how to be careful in life, how to choose your friends, uh, how to actually make sure that you're giving money also, donation to the right people, mm. never to get fooled, etc, etc. Mm. So coming back, uh, Chanakya Niti is definitely a book, uh, but uh, if you look at the two words, Chanakya and Niti, I would like to sum it up by saying that Chanakya was a person, of course, but Niti by itself has got a lot of meanings. Niti means policy, Niti means the way to go. Mm. Niti means strategy, Niti means plan. So if you look at the word Niti in Sanskrit, it got various meanings. So I would say Chanakya's planning, Chanakya's way of teaching, Chanakya's strategies, etc, etc. So I'm specifically talking about the book called Chanakya Niti, which was written by Chanakya many years ago. And I've been fortunate that I've also written a version of Chanakya's Niti in Radha Krishna Pillai's explanation of it also. Yeah. So, so what will a person gain from going through your book on the Chanakya Niti or just having information about like if they are at point A before reading yeah. it, at point B, what will they become? Definitely, there will be benefit. It's like going to a school and uh, you started attending the first standard and after a year you got passed out to second standard. Yeah. And you'll see the difference in you. Because Chanakya Niti helps you 
to think differently so if you think differently you do the same things differently mm. you figure out better strategy or faster ways of doing it absolutely so i think chanakya niti is all about strategies policies so by learning chanakya niti uh, a lot of people for centuries have got benefited and i'm sure you will so let me give you an example uh, one of my teachers uh, used to tell me this you know you know which is india's best selling book okay what a strange question the actually it's chanakya niti so no? go anywhere you will find a version of chanakya niti you know so you will find it in a book stall you can find it there now coming back to my chanakya niti how is it different from the other so so 650 sutras or formulas are still the same but what happens is that in lot of the books that we have is that the sanskrit and the translate into english hmm. but we have done something very different we have given explanation of all of them in detail so let me give an example and then we'll talk about how it is going to benefit you from point a to point b <laughs> and of course the five points that you should yeah. take away from this particular video so let me start by saying that very simple sutra or strategy be careful from three things okay and it continues by saying if you know how to use them it will be beneficial if you misuse them they will finish you okay so the first one is fire so fire you should know how to use it because in every house there is fire right so we warm up the house we require for cooking that's why you know enter house also it's called house warming but if you don't know how to you know manage that fire it can burn up your whole house so be careful from fire but it can help you or destroy you second is called king king you're too close to a king then it's good but you know if you misuse the king they will destroy you so people you know who are around powerful people should be careful that they may suddenly tell you okay you are promoted and you know, you go and take charge of this particular kingdom so a king can make you a king the thing is that if you take the king for granted they will finish off your career and your life once and for all so powerful they can destroy or make you chanakya says the third thing also snake be careful from a snake i understand it can actually help you in what way are you aware of it that actually in the army people are trained to catch snakes you know what is the logic because let's say in the army uh, you're in the jungle and especially when you're on a mission and you're going to a deep jungle you feel hungry right so they will look around and probably they will find uh, uh, a fruit or a flower the fruit may look good very exotic but you're not sure when it's poisonous but you know you're feeling hungry you need to survive so there could be lot of things around but the beautiful part is that every particular jungle will have a snake But the snake can bite you that's a danger so you have to be careful of your snake but do you know if you know how to catch the snake and maybe just you know take away the poisonous part of it the whole snake body you can actually eat okay. so it actually becomes like a survival in the jungle mm. i'm not here saying that you know be snake eaters mm. but the logic is that be careful from a snake but it can also useful to you mm. in the most difficult situations mm. practical so chanakya says three things be careful from fire king and a snake Now look at this. You can actually practically apply it. So when you are in front of your bosses, you said, "Okay, I'm close to him. It'll give me warmth." But you know, don't cross that line, that Lakshman Rekha. Same thing. It all goes to fire, etc., etc. So I mean, I'm just giving one example out of 350 ideas about how you can be successful and careful in life. In fact, to be successful, you should be careful in life and very careful in life. Hmm. So, so coming to the five uh, top learnings of the Chana Kiri. Okay. So I think every 350 sutras are all top by itself, but you know they limit it to five. Sutra is what? It's ah, like okay. a yeah. Like what is a sutra? Sutra is like a formula. Okay. So for example, E is equal to mc square. Got it. So Chanakya wrote 350 formulas for life. Absolutely, you got it right. And they can be applied everywhere. Okay. So what would what would be like your top five sutras? So I will start with something which is very close to my heart. Okay. Which is on parenting. Okay. Because I have two lovely kids. Hmm. but just because the kids are good doesn't mean you are a good parent so i always look at one of the very basic formulas sutras the chanakya spoke about parenting in a very simple line he says for the first 5 years love the child next 10 years discipline him and after that consider them your friends formula simple three liners so let me explain that to you so when a child is small is very lovely cute so you can only love the child you know suppose you got a latest mobile and you just banged it <laughs> you can't do anything about it just love the child unconditionally but the moment the child is 5 years old and upwards its intellect starts developing it you know and it's a very dangerous trend today happening because especially a lot of parents just allow children to do anything that they want and actually that's bad parenting 
what chanakya says is that now you need to actually use discipline and discipline doesn't mean beating okay the ability to say no is also important for our parent because if you say yes 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 he will never understand what is no and that can actually lead to failures in life mm. so discipline the child for the next 10 years and after that consider him or her as your friend the biggest problem that we have especially in a country like india the child may be 70 years old <laughs> now the 90 year old parent is still alive abhi bhi bachcha hai mm. after 15 years you are fully grown of course life experiences may not be that big yet you are a full adult so look at this formula which has helped me so first one is that love your child 5 years discipline 10 years and then consider them your friends i think full parenting at the best level for 15 years now coming back to the five points that you're talking about i like to summarize uh, from the all the experiences that i have gone through by reading studying chanakya the first niti the first chanakya niti to have a successful life is to have a purpose in life a lot of people you know live like a common person probably they are highly educated but if you look at them they are very dull and they don't even have a reason to get up so they just pull themselves out and saying that okay i studied now i need to get a job okay now i got a job i need to get married okay i need to get married i need to have children okay that's good but that's normal successful people do all these also but they have something beyond so the first question is that if you want to really be successful in life ask yourself what's your purpose what is that for you for which you are ready to live and if necessarily die mm. and it's not easy i understand that so i think there is a saying that uh, the only purpose of a person's life is to have a purpose and everything falls into place so i think friends chanakya says what we call in modern day settings called as goal setting exercise mm. so do something with yourself sit down and you know in our ancient old tradition it's called finding your swadharma what am i born for It's a very deep question, but if you actually go introspect and spend time with yourself, meditate, believe me, the answer will come to you. So I remember how I found my purpose in my life. Believe me, I was at Kailash Mount Sarovar, deep in the Himalayas, and when I saw the Kailash Mountain first, I've been always struggling. You know what are the purpose of my life? The moment I saw Kailash Mountain, it hit to me as if somebody was speaking to me, you know, and saying that, please give your life to the study of Chanakya and his Artha Shastra. I just told my wife Surika saying that you know I don't know whether it's a sound or it's a feeling but I feel you know I should dedicate my life to the promotion and the studies of Chanakya and Artha Shastra she kept it very quietly to herself but whenever I have a problem she always told me remember you got a purpose in your life people will ask me how are you so full of energy i've written 15 books i'm still writing eight books on chanakya got involved in two movies i've been doing a lot of podcasts i'm teaching in universities across the globe every single day i'm at least giving one or two lectures or interviews or something like that so maybe how do you keep it going and say that i have a purpose in my life i've discovered it long ago mm. a lot of people even at the end of their life they don't have a purpose so as they say i was dead at 28 and i got buried at 80 wow <laughs> to think about it what is what is their state of mind i think they're just dragging on they're just dragging on saying that you know maybe i have to just leave and do something very normal so i'm not saying that you know for people have to live a normal life you can actually live an extraordinary life not just an ordinary first chanakya niti is to have a purpose discover the purpose go inside get it gandhi ji got it well he was pushed out from a train maybe that instance it comes where you say this is for me it could be actually saving a girl child for everybody it could be different you know it could be in sports for you for you it could be youtube and just broadcasting it day in and day out but if you have a purpose for which you will actually get up every day morning and as apj abdul kalam sir said you know dreams are not that uh, what you see when you're sleeping but dreams are those that don't allow you to sleep formula number 1 chanakya niti you know even in like daily life in our office i've seen that like the best performers who win with the organization for more than a year and a half two years now are the guys who wake up in the morning with that intention of okay today i'm just going to create today i'm just going to add value you know it's that that it the purpose can be as simple as just that. yes yes it doesn't have to be oh i'm going to take over the world or you know i'm going to teach i'm going to make this mass change it can be little things so sure. but it you should put your mind on that one thing and it's all about that one thing yeah you don't have to have 100 purposes you need to have that one yeah and i'll tell you it becomes easy like i found that one chanakya that's enough yeah 
many people tell me also you know and we that you know why don't you now write your next book on maybe rama and yeah or maybe something else so you know why if something is working right why change it mm. in fact it has been mathematically proven it's called the game theory mm. if you're already successful don't be stupid to change it So it's doing well. People, what they do is that they already found their purpose. They say, "Oh, I have a doubt. Let me go to the other one and the other one." Finally, you will not be there mm. in the first stage also. So it's like you know, digging a well everywhere and finding no water. Yeah, yeah. So it's very important, as you rightly pointed out. You know, every day if you want to create a video, yeah, and it, that's your purpose. We we've had kids who have worked in the organization with that thing of no, I want more, or you know, everything's too slow, mm. or maybe I'll be happy somewhere else. And they go there, a mess gets created there. and then they land up exactly without any water anyway exactly um, so again as a as a co-founder of an organization also you see all these stories happening in front of you uh, through kids you have groomed you know even if you've not made those mistakes you see people making these mistakes yeah. but anyway so go on with the chanakya no in fact that actually connects to my second point yeah okay the second chanakya need desire to learn hmm. so you got a purpose let's say i got a purpose that i want to maybe start an ngo that will going to feed you know hundreds of children Mm. but i am actually associated with an ngo called as the roti bank so roti bank is a very interesting uh, phenomenon where actually they are feeding the street children and they actually doing almost like a million children now uh, over a period of time but the thing is that if i have a purpose that's the first step i don't know how the process works mm. so if i want to be a cricketer or a sportsman or a youtuber for that particular matter i said okay i have a found a purpose but i can't just jump into it right so i need to have a desire to learn formally or informally so what people do is that go and join a course there are formal things so for example you want to play cricket and you found a purpose in life you still require a coach so go and join a cricket academy or a film academy or whatever or read books i mean or you know see youtube videos i think this generation has got advantage of actually getting knowledge free yeah but you should be a student who says you know i am a beginner and even if you are an expert you still should have a desire to learn mm. because even at the top there is something more to learn So the thing is that have a purpose. The second is desire to learn, and it can be multiple ways of learning: mm. digital, formal, informal. You know, through books, through cinemas, through people, through people conversations. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'm learning from you also. Are you? <laughs> so uh, again, the big reason we started the podcast was for this exactly. That yes, I'll create content, but at the same time, through each conversation on a personal level, I'm learning a lot, which then I can put out on my Hindi channel as well later. Excellent. So see, you have a purpose. Yeah. You have a desire to learn, and you feel nice. And more creative when you have a desire to learn. Yeah. We're just saying, okay, there is something more, a different way of creating it. Yes, so you learn from experts. The third point is also something connected, and it's called having elders with you. And the Sanskrit word for that is called vritta sanyoga. So one is purpose, second desire to learn. But whom do you learn from? Amen. Learn only from experts. Okay. okay. Now please understand this. Let us put life into three levels. Okay, so let's say you're at level five. Mm. Okay, there could be people who are at level three. There are, could be people who are at level five, and there could be people who are at level ten. Mm. So whom do you learn from? People say I'm learning from everybody. Okay, that's that's a nice uh, desire to learn from everyone. But the reality is that let's say you're at level five of knowledge and experience, and there is somebody who's at level two or three who comes to you. Actually, you end up teaching that person. Mm. Okay, and whatever he or she says, it's an input, but that's not actually an expert advice. Mm. If you are at level five and the other person is also at level five, you are actually equal friends. You can discuss with each other, sharing. But Chanakya says no. Bridhya Sanyog is those people who are at level ten. Mm. So let's say you have a fifty crore company. You can have friends who are also at fifty crores. There are you know people who have just startups maybe at ten crores. So you actually land up teaching the ten crore guy how to be a fifty crore guy. Mm. And you're discussing common problems with other friends who are fifty crores, but Vritta Sanyoga is actually associating yourself with a hundred crore guy. Mm. So then what happens is basically when you're surrounded with such people, automatically you raise your bar from A to B without any efforts. Mm. So let's say in a week I'm spending at least four hours with people who are more experienced than me. Just spend time and don't even do anything. Just watch them. And you'll be surprised since he's already at hundred crore and you're at fifty crore. Let's say it's a turnover of a company. Just watch them, listen to the discussions. Without your own knowledge, you actually turn around your company to sixty or seventy crores. Mm. And it's a very easy way of actually being successful by being around those people who are more successful than you. Yeah. And when they say something, they are actually guiding you to actually break your barrier and go to the next level, mm. go to the next orbit. Mm. So think about this. Yeah. 
first is uh, purpose desire to learn and learning from experts and here is a warning many people actually get misled by two terms opinion and expert advice so many people when they give opinions you think that's an advice it is not an advice it is just an opinion it's a person who doesn't know anything who feels ki mujhe bhi lagta hai you know, a lot of market researchers get it wrong there so there was a common man and saying what do you think the product will do well or not so they may give a data but the real insight is by those people who is telling you this will work and you don't have to go to statistical data hmm. if you just go and ask bill gates how to create a successful business you don't have to just ask one bill gates right hmm. <laughs> not 20 people who are startups hmm. startups are also important so please understand that expert advice is what is with the sanyoga so if you are already doing youtube would you like to learn from person who is already maybe 10 times bigger than you okay so here is an advice which i read is a very powerful sweet little advice it says never take an advice from somebody who is not an expert this is our advice hmm. so if you want to take an advice only take it from an expert so hmm. maybe they are costly maybe to meet that particular person it will be delayed so suppose you want to go and meet bill gates no nahi hoga hoga i i feel like in the modern day so it's not about uh... meeting the person because any successful person has the information available online absolutely it's a power of the internet if it, you if you search for it it will land up in your head exactly make sure he is better and higher than you yeah do podcasts do internet videos yes yes read books but 2020 uh finding information and finding mentorship from these people is not difficult yes i genuinely feel that and it's good the fourth one which actually chanakya did it's create institutions no understand okay usually what happens is that when people start it's always a one man show or a one woman show whatever it's all about you 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 but as you go you reach a particular point and i can't go higher without a team around me so you know an individual you may be good but the next skill up happens when you you know do everything into a process system so that's when you start building teams companies institutions otherwise what will happen is you always be glorified as a one person but you know it's like you know being a good actor and actually creating a production company that's where the scale happens so a yeah. production company is going to last beyond you mm. and as an actor you may have a time limit to your you know performance and things so the smarter guys what did chanakya do he created chandragupta maurya but he also created systems and processes for the future chandragupta mauryas because if you don't do that what will happen exactly that it will die with you mm. so i think it's very important to create institutions so chanakya created a kingdom along with a king mm. two different things one is creating a king but is also creating a kingdom now we come the fifth and the final point and that is very important probably uh, we should practice it more often it is called documentation documentation in various forms it could be written it could be audio or video see what happens is that we had a habit which probably is not too much there in today's generation it's called diary writing mm. so every day what you learn write it down and you'll be surprised when you do it every day let's say in a year you actually look at a diary 365 days you've written something you said wow I'll tell you two things about successful people when they write it themselves okay they remembered after they are gone two things chanakya himself wrote all his strategies imagine if he had not written there would have been a great person but nobody knows what was happening in his mind in fact if you look at all the great gurus maybe you are talking about the book autobiography of yogi written by him he is not there but paramahansa yogananda's book is documented all religions of the world are documented do you know uh this year we are actually celebrating 550th year of guru uh, our guru nanak ji's birthday guru nanak ji ji's birthday how many of you are aware that if you go to any gurudwara they actually worship an image i mean what is that you know are you aware of this it's the gurbani his his book eh? it's book and it's actually the notes that uh, guru nanak ji used to write every day so it finally the other gurus and all actually started adding 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 so every learning he wrote it down mm-hmm. and what happened to the 10th guru guru gobind singh ji he said from now on there will be no physical guru the book will be the guru mm-hmm. chanakya had not written the arthashastra or chanakya niti but a lost his wisdom so it's very important my dear friends please write a book yeah, yeah. you will also write a book on being india's number one youtuber so <laughs> definitely yeah. yeah so looking at these particular points you will start realizing that life is about actually creating a legacy after you are gone do you want to be successful only for a short time or you want to be successful forever to that extent the generations to come will actually remember you 
so these are the five things purpose desire to learn learning from experts building an institution and finally the fifth point document it into a process so others can benefit after you're gone so uh, this is beautiful but i have one burning question in my mind which i have to get out which is that uh, because you study chanakya in so much detail uh, what do you think that chanakya was thinking about on his deathbed like, now this is a question a lot of people ask me in fact to the extent how did chanakya die <laughs> yeah that as well so let me tell you chanakya had something called as ichha maran you know what is ichha maran you can choose when you want to die. exactly now chanakya was probably very successful in his life and i think uh, for me is an ideal because he never had any regrets there are two kind of people who regret number one is that people who don't know what to do in their life or never did anything in their life <laughs> right so i'm just lying on my deathbed and you know it is just dragging around like anybody else i did not do anything that's the first type of regret not doing anything contributing anything the second is those people who had a desire but never got it fulfilled in their lifetime that's also regret you know i started something but i could not complete it but chanakya actually was different because he completed both of them had no regrets number one he had a purpose in my li- in his life and that was to create a co- whole empire called the bharat varsha he created that what is important that he did it in his, his lifetime before dying mm. not many people are lucky people have goals and they say you know i will sow a seed and maybe my grandchildren will enjoy it of course the grandchildren should enjoy it but why not you in your own lifetime So if you look at what was Chanakya thinking during his deathbed probably saying that thank you for everything now i'm going to live very successfully and peacefully if on deathbed you can say i have no regrets i have lived my life well i think that's called a successful life thank you dr arakshan till less thank you another gorgeous podcast with you obviously guys i'll be linking all of sir's books on chanakya and his latest book on the chanakya neeti down below uh, make sure you check it out make sure you follow sir on all his handles and until next time from dr radhakrishnan pillai and ranveer alawade we'll thank you so much